Hello, hello, and welcome to what should be my Sunday thought. But I was so busy on Sunday trying to do a FaceTime video that I messed up that I never got a chance to do this. So welcome to my Sunday thought on on uh, Wednesday. On Wednesday, uh, I just read that uh, the mystery of dating uh, and knowing whether you actually turned on the guy or whether uh, the guy uh, turned you on has now been solved. Ladies, if you want to know if you fascinated a man, all you have to do is watch his body language. Body language. For example, uh, if he raises his eyebrow, he's interested. He's interested. Mm -hmm. if, uh, if he does mansplaining, where he sits with his feet really far apart to show you what he's got to give you, He's he's very interested. But the key to the whole thing is if he adjusts his socks. That tells you he's he's on your page. He's on your page and he wants you on his page. Now I've been looking back over the uh, variety of men uh, that I've tried to um, interest and I don't remember any of them uh, raising their eyebrows. And they certainly didn't uh, sit with their legs far apart. Or if they did, it was under a table and I didn't notice. But the sock business really interests me. Because when I was younger, uh, I was younger, I was addicted to knitting Argyle socks for uh, the boys uh, that I dated. And I would knit them socks, and they would have little designs on them, or they would be Argyle socks. But I don't remember at any time going out with anyone who fiddled with his socks when, uh, when we went out, which all goes to show that my sell-by date has been over for approximately, I would say, 70 years. So I'm going to give all you girls a, a little bit of advice. If you're dating a guy and he interests you, and you don't, and he's not adjusting his socks, he's not raising his eyebrows or mansplaining for you, don't give up. My advice to you is to do the things my mother taught me, which is cook him dinner. That's what you do. You cook him dinner. But I had another bit of advice from a lovely, lovely lady who is actually from South Africa. And so you can tell she now lives in London. So she definitely has been around. And this is what she said to me. If you want to turn on a man, don't bother with his socks or his eyebrows. It's not going to work. What you want to do is you want to go to his home hmm, and knock on his door. So I said, well, I don't drive. She said, well, in this case, if you really care, take an Uber. Knock on his door. And do that late at night, late at night, after 11. Knock on his door and bring him a glass of wine. I said, well... The men that I'm interested in uh, don't seem to drink much wine. She said, well, then bring them orange juice. You walk in. It's after 11, so they'll probably be in bed. You walk in, and you sit next to him on the bed. I said, well, how do you know he's going to be sitting on the bed? You said, take him in there. You sit next to him on the bed, and you put your hand on his knee. I said, well, what about the glass of orange juice? She said, well, you've already given him that. All right. So you put your hand on his knee. I said, okay, then what? Well, she said, then you have to judge your progress. So I said, well, how do you do that? She said, what you do is you look at what's happening downstairs. So I said, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> she said, you'll know when the time comes. So I said, well, what if nothing's happening downstairs? Uh, she said, well, then you move your hand up on his knee, closer 
to his thigh. So I said, and then what happens? And she said, you'll know what to do. So I tried that, and I'm offering this advice to all you girls. You can definitely try that. Knock on his door, bring him a glass of wine or orange juice, put your hand on his knee, and check what's happening downstairs. But with me, when I did that, nothing was happening downstairs except that the children were... Um, were playing with their dolls and their toys downstairs because we were upstairs and it just didn't work. So as I say to you, this is my advice, but my big advice to you is if you want to know, if you turn on a man, don't listen to me. Just use your own instincts. And thank you very much for listening to my Sunday crazy thought about how to turn on a man.